Hi, in this video I will show you how to create a simple portal. Character walks into one hole and comes out from another with this interesting split effect. As usual, I start from an empty project and set it up step by step. First game object will be a character. Here it is. Character needs a collider to detect collisions with portals, so I add box collider to D to it. Set it as a trigger. To move my character, I will use physics, so I add a rigid body to the component and set its gravity scale to zero, so my character will not fall down. Move script will help me to move my character. Let's take a look at this script. Here I have rigid body reference, move speed and direction x variables, which will be used to move this character. In start method, I get control over rigid body component and set move speed to 3. In update method, I check if left or right arrow button is pressed and, depending on that input, direction x variable takes value equals to negative or positive 1 multiplied by move speed. Physics should be managed in fixed update, so in this method I set a velocity to rigid body in x axis according to direction x value. That's the script. Drag and drop this script to character. To make portal trick happen, I'm going to spawn my character at some target position when it's teleported. So I need a prefab of my character to spawn it when I need it. I drag and drop character from hierarchy to project folder and character prefab is created. Ok, character is ready. Now let's create portals. Each portal consists of two halves. I add one to the scene, position it about here, then I duplicate it pressing Ctrl plus D keys. Flip it by X axis and position this second half about this way. There we go. Another one part of a portal is a curtain, which hides character when it comes into a portal, creating a kind of disappearing effect. Here it is. This curtain has the same color as the background has. So, there is no magic here unfortunately, only an illusion. Now I need to arrange these objects the way that illusion appears. Order and layer option will help me with that. I begin with character. I set its order and layer to 5 for example. And now he appears above other objects. This half should be above the character when he enters the portal. I set its order and layer to 6 and half appears above him. Curtain should be above character as well. So I set its order layer to 6. Oops, half should be above the curtain. So I reset its order layer to 7. And the second half of the portal should be behind the character. It is behind it right now with order layer set to 0. But I set it to 4 to make a nice order. 4, 5, 6 and 7. When objects are realigned, this cool effect takes place. Character walks into the portal and disappears. Now let's set some color to this white portal. I select these halves and set a color here. Let it be orange. Beautiful. Another one object that portal needs is a spawn point where my character will be teleported. I create new empty game object and rename it as orange portal spawn point. I will position it a bit later. Now to organize hierarchy better, I create new empty game object, rename it as orange portal, position it about here, select all of game objects which are parts of this portal and drag and drop them into orange portal game object, making them children of it. Very good. Now I quickly create a second portal using same technique. Spawn point for this portal is named as blue portal spawn point. Ok, I change color of this portal to blue. Very nice. Now let's position spawn points. Orange one will be here and blue one will be here. Ok, each portal needs a collider to detect when character enters it. I add box collider to D to orange portal, set it as a trigger and edit it the way it covers the right half of the portal. Like so. Blue portal will also have box collider to D, which will be a trigger as well and will occupy left side of the portal. Here we go. I put my character here initially. To make it all work, I need another one game object, which will control these portals. I create new empty game object and rename it as portal control. This game object will use a script named portal control. Let's take a look at it. First, here I have portal control instance variable, which will help me to use methods of that portal control game object from another script. This what is called singleton. Then, here I have blue portal and orange portal variables, which can be set in inspector thanks to serialize field attribute. Also, here I have blue portal spawn point and orange portal spawn point transforms which will be set in inspector as well. 
Blue Portal Collider and Orange Portal Collider variables will help me to enable and to disable Portal's colliders when I need it. Clone variable, which will be set in Inspector, represents character, which will be spawned in the another portal when character walks into the one. So, in start method Portal Control instance is assigned and Blue Portal Collider and Orange Portal Collider are assigned as well. Create clone method will be invoked from Portal script, which we will examine in a moment. It's invoked when character walks into one of the portals. If character walks into orange portal, then character should be teleported or spawned at blue one. So, when character triggers orange collider, then orange portal sends signal which where to create variable holds. If this variable value equals to at blue, then a character's clone is instantiated at blue portal spawn point position and this new game object is renamed as clone to keep hierarchy clean and organized. If character enters blue portal, then that clone is spawned at orange portal spawn point position. Hope this is clear. When clone is instantiated, then it can trigger a collider of that portal where it's spawned. It shouldn't happen until this clone leave this portal, otherwise new clones will be spawned continuously. To prevent this issue to occur, opposite portal's collider should be disabled. Disable collider method helps me to do it. So, if character enters blue portal, then orange collider is disabled. If character enters orange portal, then blue collider is disabled. To enable colliders back, enable colliders method will be used. That's the script. Drag and drop this script to portal control game object, select portal control and drag and drop corresponding game objects into the slots of portal control script component. Character prefab from project folder not from hierarchy, it's important, goes to clone slot, orange spawn point goes here, blue spawn point goes here, orange portal goes here and blue portal goes here. It's very important not to make a mistake with these slots. Ok, portals will be controlled with portal script. Here it is. Here I have enter it rigid body, enter velocity and exit velocity variables, which will help me to manage character's teleportation properly. On trigger enter to the method is invoked when character touches portal's collider. When it happens, I get control over character's rigid body component and mark a velocity with which character enters this portal collider. I will need this value later to check if character decides to exit this particular portal or to keep going forward and to come out from the other portal. Ok, in following if statement, I check which portal character enters. If character enters blue portal, then I disable orange collider to prevent multiple characters spawning and create a new character clone at orange portal. And if character enters orange portal, then I do the same for blue portal. On trigger exit to the method is invoked when character leaves portal collider. When it happens, I mark rigid body's velocity one more time. And if enter velocity is not equal to exit velocity, then it means that character changed his mind and decided not to teleport and come out from the portal he just entered. In this case, clone is destroyed and no teleportation happens. And if character leaves portal collider from the proper site, then character game object is destroyed, portal's colliders are enabled again and character clone created becomes the new character. That's it. Drag and drop this script to orange portal and to blue portal game object. Ok. One more game object in this scene will be a background. I add background sprite and stretch it so it covers the whole game view. Cottons become invisible and now I can hit play and test my project. Character walks if I press left or right arrow buttons and when he enters a portal, then clone comes out from the other portal. A small issue with the order layer is detected. Clones appear behind portals. This happens because I created character's prefab before I changed his order layer option and all prefabs spawned would have this value set to 0. All I need to do is to set this value for character's prefab to 5. Now everything should work fine. Great. One more thing to tweak is to shift blue portal spawn point a bit down so clone will not touch blue portal with his head. Very good. That's it. Hope you liked this tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you next time.